my uh, last official act in terms of the National LGBT 50th Anniversary Celebration. Yay, Malcolm! Woo! Woo! So, for those of you who may not know, I am a lawyer by training. Who? And, <laughs> and remember, once this is over, I can now drink. <laughs> And so, when you study the law, it's like Brown versus the Board of Education. It's like Marbury versus Madison. And I learned something from this National LGBT Civil Rights 50th anniversary, which is that it really, in terms of us, is not about Lawrence v. Texas. It's not about Windsor v. U.S. It's not even about Obergefell versus Hodges. What it's really about, John Lawrence and Tyrone uh, Power, oh, Garner, excuse me, Garner, and their relationship and how the police knocked down their front door and their bedroom door and arrested them and it ultimately went up to the Supreme Court. So it wasn't just John Lawrence, it was John Lawrence and Tyrone Gardner. And Windsor, with all due respect to Edie, she'd be the first to tell you, it was not about Edie Windsor. It was about Edie Windsor and Thea Spire and their 40-year relationship. That's what that case was all about. And in terms of James Obergefell, it really wasn't just about James Obergefell. It was about James Obergefell and John Arthur and their 20-year relationship together. Here, here. It, it was about love. It was about commitment. It was about in sickness and in health till death do us part. And it was about the commitment of Edie and Thea. It was also about the commitment of, of James. It was about the commitment of his love of his life and their commitment to our equality. That their relationships should be honored like everyone else's relationship. They should be respected under the law, and they deserve the respect of marriage and their fellow citizens. Now, we are giving this award in the name of really a person who I was privileged to know, Frank Kennedy. And you heard me speak about Frank. And Frank made it, by the way, at the 40th anniversary, we did you know a small celebration. And while I didn't think Barbara would make it to the 50th, I thought Frank might, and he made it to four years short of this occasion. But I can tell you, he would be so proud of what we have achieved. And he would be so proud of James Obergefell, who is just the nicest, the most wonderful guy. <laughs> and scripted this. I don't know that they could have found an equal to James Obergefell. So, on behalf of the National LGBT 50th Anniversary Celebration, it is a great honor to present this award to James Obergefell. share the stage with a hero of mine, Edie. Because if it weren't for Edie, if it weren't for Edie and her love for and commitment to Thea, I wouldn't have proposed to my husband. The day the Windsor decision came down was the day I hugged him and kissed him and said, let's get married. 
Thank so, you. For me is a really important date now. The date I got engaged, <laughs> the date the Windsor decision came down, the date the Lawrence decision came down, and the date the Obergefell decision came down. <laughs> it still doesn't seem possible to me that this has happened, especially because John and I did it for one simple thing, love. We weren't willing to be treated with disrespect. We fought hard to get married, we had to jump through a lot of hoops, it took a lot of pain, a lot of money, and a lot of effort. And to have our state say, we don't care, you don't matter, we weren't willing to do it. None of us should be told that. And all the way back to love. I loved my husband, I loved my partner of 20 years, and I wasn't willing to let anyone tell me we were less than anyone else. And it's been incredibly humbling for me to be able to fight for my husband, fight for our marriage, and to help make our country a better place. And again, Edie, a lot of it goes back to you, so thank you for the inspiration and for giving me the courage and I just have to thank my husband, John, for loving me, for making me a better person, and for giving me the courage throughout this entire two-year fight. Not once did I ever think, I'm going to stop. Because my commitments to my husband, I took them seriously, and I owed it to him to fight to the very end. So here's to all of you for being who you are, loving who you love, and here's to a better America. And it's for my husband, to you, John. I love you. Thank you very much. Thanks, everybody.